Hi everyone, welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this example, I'm going to show how to use the Gauss widget display in the Blink app in order to display the uh, temperature value. Alright, so what uh, do you need is, you just need one component which is the uh, temperature sensor. In this example, I'm using the uh, MLX90614 temperature sensor. So it's connected to the pin D1 and D2, which is the uh, I2C uh, pins, right? Uh, it uses the I2C uh, communication. Uh, for the Blink app, so I use the uh, gas widgets, uh, uh, two gas widgets, which is uh, represent the ambient temperature, and then the another one represent the object temperature. So the ambient and object temperature is uh, connected to the virtual pin and V4 and V5. So when the temperature sensor is detect uh, the uh, 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 temperature, it will send to the node MCU and then that value will be sent by node MCU to the Blink F. Okay, and then the value will display on this uh, gas widget. Uh, let's look on the uh, temperature sensor which is the MLX90614. Uh, this uh, temperature sensor it can detect uh, ambient temperature and object temperature with this range. And then the uh, resolution is quite high, it can go up to 0 0.02 degree. And then the good thing about this uh, temperature sensor is uh, factory uh, calibrated. So that means you don't need to do some uh, calibration, okay? And in order to use that sensor, we need to install the library on the Arduino IDE. So how to do that? So you go to the Arduino IDE and then you go to the uh, tools and then uh, select the manage library. And then in this one, you uh, type the MLX90614. And then you need to choose this library, Adafruit MLX90614 library. And then just click install. Alright, so let's create a project on the Blink app. First, uh, you select a new project. And then you can put the name of the project. For example, Tem MLX90614. And then we select the device, the IoT device. Uh, in this case, I'm using the Node MCU, so uh, I just select ESP8266, and then choose the uh, connection type, which is Wi-Fi. And then after that, we uh, can click uh, create button, and then you will receive an authorization token that will be sent through your email, where you have uh, registered when you uh, at the first time you install the Blink app. This is the example of the authorization token. Alright, as I mentioned you before, uh, I'm using uh, two gas uh, widget, uh, which is for the ambient temperature and then also for the object temperature. For the ambient temperature, is connected to the virtual uh, pin V4. So how to set to that pin is uh, you just need to tap this uh, widget and then the uh, gas setting will come up. So you can change the name. For example, I put it ambient temperature and then you also can change the virtual pin here. So I put it before and also you can set the maximum value. Right? In this example, I put it a 50 degree. Right? It can go up to 50 degree only. Okay, And then that's it. For the next widget, uh, the same step will be uh, repeated, right? So, accept the pin, so I just change to B5, and then the maximum value is 50.
Alright, so let's construct the circuit. Then, let's do this program. Alright, let me explain a little bit about this program. So what you need to do in this program is you just need to copy and paste the authorization token that you got it from your email to here. And then you need to change the uh, Wi-Fi networks, right? Uh, put it your uh, Wi-Fi networks name to here, in, uh, including the uh, password, okay? And then, uh, because you use the library, um, you need to call the other fruit. This one library, and also you need to call the I C uh, library, which is wire H. And then you need to call this function, right? And then you create a uh, two variable, then ambient temperature and object temperature. And because you want to send to the Blink apps, so remember you want to send to the Blink apps, so you need to use a Blink timer, right, here. And you need to create a function, so let's say we put it a sensor one. And this is the uh, function where you read the ambient temperature, you save it into uh, variable net ambient temperature. And then you can check on the serial monitor, you can display, okay. And after that, you will send it to the uh, Blink app, right? So, so you just call Blink dot virtual right before, right? This is the uh, virtual pin uh, before. And then after that, you read the object temperature, and then uh, you will send to the Blink app to the virtual pin B5. And for the setup function, you just need to initialize the uh, serial monitor. And then also initialize the blink server and also initialize the temperature sensor. And lastly, you need to initialize the timer. You set it to interval uh, 300 millisecond uh, for this function to be uh, loop, right? It will loop for three, uh, uh, it will loop for 300 millisecond. And inside this uh, loop function, you just need to call blink.run and also timer.run. Alright, after you have uploaded the program, so you can open the serial monitor and you will see this message. On, uh, if you got this message, that means your IoT uh, device uh, and with your uh, Blink app is uh, connected successfully. If you don't get any, uh, any of this message, that means um, you can press the uh, reset button on the not MCU and then you will get this message. If not, that's mean maybe of the uh, token is wrong or maybe uh, uh, the uh, hardware connection got some problem. Okay. Uh, in order to run the Blink program, so you just need to uh, tap this play button, right? Uh, when your uh, temperature sensor is detecting uh, any uh, temperature, so it will update it. Alright, that's it. Thank you. See you again on my next video.